Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 6th of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather turning cold and wet tomorrow, and there could be a few snowflakes for parts of North Alabama tomorrow night or Friday morning. Another chance maybe of a few snowflakes early next week. It's a very active winter weather pattern, so let's dive in. It's the wave train. The first wave on the board is currently digging down through Texas. But we are still dry. We've got some high cirrus clouds moving in from the west, but the thicker clouds are still back over parts of the Arklatex region. Temperatures right where they should be for early January, mostly mid-50s. See a lot of 55s on the board, but tomorrow we stay in the 40s all day with clouds and rain. There's the current watch warning map, and again, it's interesting to note we have winter storm warnings for a few counties in northwestern Arkansas with this upper feature coming in. Uh, but again, no watches or warnings for any part of Alabama. Also, there's a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of southeastern Texas. We've got the standard slight risk there. That includes Houston and Galveston down toward Corpus Christi. A marginal risk over to the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Tomorrow, the SPC guys have removed that marginal risk for Mobile and Baldwin counties. They basically shunted that down to the coastal waters. It's just going to be too cool and stable for any severe storms across the state tomorrow. Just a cold rain for most areas. And then on day three, which is Friday, no storms expected across the country. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Rain amounts in Alabama about a half inch. But let's dive into it. See if we can answer your questions here. This is the GFS, the 12Z run ballot tomorrow at 3. And there's the cold core upper low coming through northern Mississippi. And you know what follows that line, weatherman's woe. They can produce some surprises. We talk about that a lot, but they can. Uh, rain is likely tomorrow. Cloudy, cold periods of rain will be in the 40s. And then tomorrow night is the upper low. The cold core comes in. There's a chance the rain changes to snow over about the northern quarter of the state. That would be north of U.S. 278, north of a line from Hamilton to Cullman to Gadsden. And again, with these upper lows, you can have little bursts of heavier snow showers that might get the ground white. At the moment, we're not expecting any meaningful impact, but we'll watch it with a very careful eye. We'll be watching developments off to the west. And uh, the main changeover to snow will come tomorrow night over the northern part of the state. And then this is Friday at 1 o'clock. We've still got snow flurries around. Uh, Friday looks like a cloudy day, a cold day. Areas north of Birmingham might stay in the 30s all day with a chance of scattered light snow flurries during the day. But again, no meaningful impact from those. Uh, this is the synoptic look on Friday, the main storm system well off to the east. Saturday as the weekend begins, a cold morning will be in the 20s, the sky partially sunny, the high in the upper 40s. And then Sunday, here comes the next wave in the wave train. And this is suggesting snow as possible for parts of east Texas and north Louisiana. And then Monday morning at 6 o'clock, the GFS brings rain back in here. And I've told you guys this. This is going to flip-flop like a fish out of water, looking at these deterministic maps. So it's got rain back on the board with a chance of snow maybe for the Tennessee Valley. This is the European Monday evening at 6 o'clock. It's got a surface low near Mobile. It's much slower and warmer, suggesting rain statewide on Monday. But you know what we got to do? Got to go to the ensemble mean. This is the GFS ensemble mean. This is the probability of snow greater than one inch Monday night. And for Alabama, basically zero. The European, uh, you've got the 10 to 20 percent probabilities through parts of West and North Alabama, and then 20 to 30 percent near the Tennessee state line. So there's been some pretty good consistency in these low probabilities with this event Monday. But again, I stress until we get tomorrow's system out of here, we really can't focus on this one. But by Friday, we'll have a much better idea of what happens. Uh, this is Tuesday. That feature is on by. We're cool and dry. And a week from today, Wednesday the 13th, got a broad trough coming through, but the air is so dry, looks like we will not have precipitation with that. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday the 16th. Got a vortex sitting over Michigan. And again, that looks kind of cold and dry. This is the snow output from the GFS Ensemble. And this is valid through January 22nd. And really, we are looking at a signal here toward the latter half of the month that it might be cold and active. You see a lot of gray bars on this. And gray means not much snow. But there could be multiple opportunities for a few snowflakes, maybe later this month. We'll see. This is the rain off the same model, the mean about an inch and a half, 
between now and the 22nd of January. Temperatures pretty cold. Highs in the 40s through early next week. And then back in the 50s toward the latter part of next week. And hot off the presses. The new CPC outlook. This is for January 14th through the 20th. Showing temperatures around here again below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.